More traps. Oh. This week, we're gonna cut this transom out, get ready to uh, replace that, get it all nice and solid, and we're gonna try to build the uh, bilge area right here. Get ready for that. What I'm gonna do here is cut along this bottom line, cut up this corner and down this corner, and then cut right down the bottom of this lip right here. And that'll pull this inside skin off, pull all the rod out, put Kusa back in place. We'll put a layer of fresh glass over it. And uh, she'll be like new again. So we got the skin off for the transom. That leaves all of this wood exposed. I'm gonna take flathead screwdriver and just start working it down in between the wood and the layer of glass here. Um, we'll peel all this wood out and cut some uh, kusa board to go back in place. So it turns out there's a layer of plywood that goes all the way down and then there's another layer that goes across the top. Um, this thing's fighting me. So I've cut it 
here, cut it in both corners, and I've cut most of the way down the bottom. If this is solid down below here still, I may leave it. Um, if it's not solid down there, then I, you know, I'm just gonna have to keep cutting bits of the transom out. Hopefully not. That's where we're at. I'm gonna keep prying on this stuff until I can get it loose. I'll check back in once I got there. All right, two rotten pieces of wood. And uh, transom's out. It does have a piece of wood that goes down further than this. It seems pretty solid down through there. So I think what I'm gonna do is clean that up piece of kusa and then put a big piece of kusa all the way down i gotta think about this because the floor is going to go in and that's going to stiffen all of this section right here up so that it'll really only need yeah i'm just going to put the two pieces of kusa up top like i originally planned glass around that yep that's the plan all right so bilge I'm gonna clean up this mess here that I made and get ready to start fitting the bilge area. This is the back panel piece here that goes back here. And what we're gonna do is cut out a 12 inch wide area to create a little bilge. So you'll have like a floor, it'll drop down, come over, come back up and have a floor. Um, give you a place to put a bilge pump yeah that's where we're at we're gonna cut because it's about six inches deep here we're gonna cut a 12 inch piece out of the center of this cut that 12 inch piece in half and that'll be our two sides for our bilge that way we still get it out of that same one piece of kusa um that leaves that piece to do transom work and that piece to do transom work so Today's, or this afternoon's, a little bit of work. It's uh, getting that pulled out of the transom. We've got the bilge area put together. We'll add in a drain plug that comes from a fish box that will be in the center right here and uh, any water that gets into that will also drain into that fish box. And so we'll have a bilge pump back here. Say we take a, bow, a wave over the bow, water gets into there or down into the fish box. We can pull a plug, let all that water drain and pump out with the bilge pump. Or if we're on plane and moving, we can pull this plug, and let the water just drain out of the boat Either way, um, it won't sink the boat.